Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As you come into the, oh, let me turn my stuff off. Here we go. Hold on, y'all. I got things open. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Yes, there we go. <laughs> What's going on? Shout out to my mom. Shout out to Lala Poulouse who already sent in a super chat. Lord have mercy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. Let me bring this up. Thank you, Loopy Loop Lupa. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, Lo Loopy Lupa says, from Liverpool, showing you love because I can. However, Wendy slayed, slayed that trying to be a Giselle seen Monique in spirit. Okay. I'm not sure if I understand that last part, but I appreciate the super chat. I appreciate the super chat, guys. As you come into the room, don't forget to drop your, your crowns, your location. And be sure to like the video if you haven't liked it already. You know it's our monthly visit from Femme Tara. But before we get into that, we had some breaking news. You know, I didn't want to report on this story originally because I did not hear it from Nini herself. But then a video was shared of Nini talking about Greg Leakes being... I, I, we already knew that he was sick. We talked about that with Femme Tara. And we'll talk a little bit more about it when she comes up. But we also know that he was diagnosed with cancer back in 2018. But now we're hearing that he is dying, according to Nini. And I want to play a quick a quick clip from her mentioning it. The sound might not be that great. Either way, you guys can see the video on my TikTok at the Kempire. But I'm going to play it for you guys here so you can take a quick look at what she said. Can you set the music for a second, please? Yeah. How y'all doing? All right. I hope everybody's enjoying the house tonight. Um, I had a few people to approach me about a birthday, right? Yes. Yes, yes. Listen, happy birthday. Thank you. But please, I'm asking everybody in this house. I had no idea I was going to walk in here and grab this microphone and make an announcement. But I want to say this to you. I'm in this and I want to give. You see me, you see my son, give us a lot of love, okay? My husband is Francis, she's on the other side, I have my little to say happy birthday to you guys. You guys are supposed to be down with the real teachers, you're with me. You don't know what we're dealing with right now. Yes. We walk through the house, but we have to walk through the house of the business. Yes. So when people approach and say you're rude, because you don't want to say happy birthday, and I heard that they have all And I don't want to say happy birthday, okay? I just wanted to bring that up. I know the quality of the sound is not the greatest, but I'll just kind of sum up what she said. One of the fans at her nightclub had been asking for a birthday shout out, I guess, and and had called her rude for not doing it. So she went on the mic and clarified that you really don't know what someone's going through. She confirmed that Greg Leakes is transitioning transitioning to the other side. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about that with Femme Taro because she reminded me that we talked a little bit about this when we read some of the, when we read Nene Leakes specifically, that was probably one of the first people that we read. If you're just joining us, we're talking about Nene Leakes confirming that Greg Leakes seems to be dying at this point. At this point, I think we all should just at least send him healing prayers. You know, it, that's, it, it, if this is what she's saying, as I said before, I didn't want to report on it unless it was coming from her mouth. This is very, very sad news. Uh, we will be continuing to follow this story, but I, I could not start this Sunday fun day without, first of all, sending prayers to Nini and the entire family and healing to Greg Leakes if, if, th if this is him transitioning to the other side. I'm going to bring up our special guest, as always. Uh, my girl, Femtaro, is in the building. What's going on, Femtaro? Ooh, Hello. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi, Kempire. This is, this is, first of all, 
um, I, I sent this to you and I said, Greg Leakes is apparently, according to Nene Leakes, transitioning. And you reminded me that we talked about uh, the family gathering together. Do you recall? Well, you know, I'm a Dory when it comes to recalling the readings. Um, but I do recall that one because that was quite, I remember the feeling, what I was feeling when we were doing that reading on, on Nene Leakes. And that you, you asked the question, like, where is she? She's been off the grid. She hasn't been on social media. What's going on? And I remember that I was picking up a lot of sadness and the family gathering together, all of the family being around together all the time and that she wanted to keep things very private. I don't remember when we did the reading. I think it was back in spring. Yeah, it was a, it was a while ago. It was a while ago. Was, yeah. So I feel that he's been like, and you confirmed this today when you texted me with the news and that's very unfortunate. I'm really sorry to hear that. But I do feel that I think that's when things kind of started, you know, deteriorating with his with his health, basically. And yeah, um, he confirmed in a recent interview with the Jasmine brand that he had been in the hospital. We had uh, that was just a couple of months ago. She had confirmed that he was in the hospital, but we thought maybe he was getting better because we hadn't heard anything. Well, I mean, I can't, I, I'm not, I haven't done a reading on them, but I can tell you what I'm picking up. Uh, just talking about it, I still feel that sadness a lot. And I, yeah, I mean, I think they've done what they could to sort of make him comfortable. That's that's what I'm going to say. And, and I'm sorry to hear that, you know. Um, it's sad. It's really sad right now. Um, the other thing that I, I, I want to say, first of all, I, I know I see everyone in the chat sending prayers to Nini uh, and, and, of course, Greg during this time. I, one of the, the best parts of Nini's storyline and people in Nini's life and uh, people that people, you know, people that connect with Nini is, be, is really because of Greg. We really had some really am amazing moments. But with that being said, he's still with us. If anything, this is a really great time to spend time with him, the family, recall some of our you know, favorite memories of Greg, because we do have some really monumental moments with Greg on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And all we can do is pray right now for an, an easy transition. Yeah, and I, th I feel that it's going to be an easy, he's, as I said, he's comfortable, it's gonna be an easy transition. And he's got someone there already, because while you were talking, I unwillingly, <laughs> Um, tapped in, I think his grandmother, his grandmother was there because I see an older woman waiting for him, so. Wow. And you yeah. know, this, this reminds me, Natalie, of why, what we, what we do here is not, you know, yes, we have fun and we, and we laugh and we keep key and we talk about some of our favorite celebrities. And uh, by the way, guys, we just did a Whitney Houston collaboration on Femme Tarot's, uh, YouTube channel, more information on Femme Tarot's socials and our YouTube channel are available in the description of this video. We, we just did Whitney, but the most important thing, and I, I tagged you in a repost from Queen who had called into the show last month, and she really, like, we didn't expect, well, you, you probably expected more than me, <laughs> but we didn't expect for her to break down the way that she did. But she 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 tagged us, well, she tagged me and, and, and let me know that she's in a better place because of the reading that she received on the show. And I think that, is a reminder of why this is so important. Yeah, it's important because at the end of the day, it's not just about predictions, okay? It's not about knowing your future. Um, sometimes, uh, especially with private and personal readings, some information is not gonna come through because you are not ready to hear it right now. You have to still do some work and go through some things in order for you to get to that point, right? So I wanna remind people that, but, Going to someone, let's say like me, a spiritual coach or a tarot reader or a medium or psychic, whatever you prefer, whatever you you feel most comfortable with, a good one, a professional one will help you understand more about you on a spiritual and deeper level. And that is not only enlightening and empowering, but it's also a big, huge sigh of relief because you it, things start making more sense to you as to why certain things are happening in your life right now and it kind of gives you a sense of direction too and most people forget that you know that there were a lot of us all of us including me a lot of times i just go about my everyday life everyday grind a little bit aimlessly 
forgetting to remind myself what my purpose is and what my journey is. Mm, yes. And that's the human part of you. That's the human part of you. Of course. That, that's the human part. That's the ego part. That's experience as well, where you're trying to sort of like troubleshoot because we have experience after past an age, you start, you know, you, you troubleshoot proactively, but sometimes you don't, you're not supposed to troubleshoot. You're just supposed to make yourself feel empowered in order to be ready for whatever comes your way, because you're meant to go through that hurdle. You're meant to go through that challenge because that's going to lead you to something else. And this is how you evolve spiritually and as a human being. So let's not forget that. So because a lot of people say, you know, you're always so positive and we love your readings. Yes, that's how I do my readings, because I can see the end goal. I can see the end. I can see up to the other side. So I'm able to have, let's say, that privileged position in quotes, in a sense, to be able to see it in a positive light. And that's what I want to sort of teach people or influence that in people. Most definitely. I just want to say loopy Lupa. <laughs> Thank you again for the super chat. Um, <laughs> loopy Lupa says, when can we call in? She's kind of giving me white chicks vibes. Her voice sounds like Dorit. Let's be respectful people. We have a guest in the building. Okay? Well, I am a white chick, <laughs> but I'm not Dorit. <laughs> Definitely not Dorit. <laughs> she would not be on my platform if she wasn't Dorit. Thank you for the super chat, but as always, be respectful. Anyways, luckily, 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 Femtaro, we're we're not moved by negativity, as we just said. As we just said. Anyway, moving moving right along. Uh, I do want to say happy birthday to the King of Pop. Happy birthday to Michael Jackson. We did a, a, a channeling reading with him on your channel. I've linked that in the description of this video as well. So be sure to check that out. That was really, really good. We found out one of the most important things, we found out that uh, Mike, Michael Jackson has not returned to physical form here right now. He's still on the other side doing his, doing, doing his positivity. Right. And uh, it's funny because you reminded me today that it's his birthday. And yesterday I didn't I didn't have time to tell you because there was just so much going on in my personal life today, as you know, Kempaya. <laughs> but uh, yesterday I was just like getting a lot of Michael Jackson all over me, like his energy everywhere, anywhere, like the radio stations, TikTok. They love I want to say everyone with spirit. They love to communicate with me and send me messages. They have an amazing sense of humor through TikTok. I keep telling Kempire that. It's, it's incredible, you know? It's like the tamper with the algorithm. And as soon as I'm on, I just see a, a message or something that I'm supposed to see. And it happened with Michael Jackson yesterday and on Facebook too. I saw someone who did this like amazing, you know, these makeup artists that do these amazing yeah. makeup and they just transform themselves. And someone did Michael Jackson. And then today you reminded me it's his birthday. So he popped in to say, hey. Michael's like, don't forget it's my birthday. Happy birthday, Michael Jackson. Uh, again, <laughs> if you didn't see that reading or our reading with uh, Whitney Houston, be sure to check that out. All are linked in the description of this video. I want to get into this. We will be taking your calls. Again, if you're not respectful, you will be blocked and removed. So only people that really have a question about love, relationships, career, Call and we will be taking a limited amount of calls. If you would like to book a reading with Fem Tarot, we've linked her information in the description. Again, you can head on over to femtarot.com or you click the link in the description and be sure to follow her on all social media. Lupa, Lupa, thank you so much for the super sticker. Appreciate you supporting the channel. Okay. The Real Housewives of Potomac, are you watching? I am. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to keep this light because I do want to, yeah. want to be able to take more callers this time around. But the, the current season is juicy. You already talked a little bit about Michael last month when we were talking about when, we, when you dropped by the, by the channel. This week, well, this month, I want to talk a little bit about Wendy Acefo. There's a lot of things. Her, she's pretty much the biggest storyline of the season. So I want to yeah. talk about what's going on there. But before we get into that, Wendy did a recent interview and she revealed that Robin Dixon mm -hmm. was the one to bring her the cheating rumors first. 
So I want to pull a card and ask Spirit. Is Robin lying? <laughs> <laughs> okay so let wait i have to be updated i've been yeah. watching the show but i haven't been updated with it so apparently there are rumors that um wendy's husband is cheating yes or has yes. cheated or something yeah. like that and according to wendy it was robin who originally brought those rumors to her but recently robin responded to someone on social media saying that it was a, a voiceover that made it seem like she was talking to giselle which could be true which could be true but she denied pretty much knowing anything about those Eddie rumors before that point. Hold on, let me pick up my cards. <laughs> yeah, I just want to let you guys know, I also got some tarot cards myself this weekend. Yay! You know, even I collect, I, this is like one of like six or seven. I don't even remember how many I have now. But I got these new tarot cards and I wanted to show it to you guys. See, that's so pretty. Good job. We're going to start doing some... We're going to start doing some few tutorials with Kim yeah, I'm going to teach him some of the tricks of the trade. I have way too many cards to know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to know, right. is, is Robin Dixon lying about this whole, knowing about the Eddie rumors before anyone else, pretty much? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. My cards are all over the place. So the, the energy. energy is high today. And I'm going to make a comment. Shouldn't Robin be worried about her own Ooh. husband, ex-husband, husband-to-be? Doo-doo. Just saying. We're going to dig into that because I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I we love this in trade. <laughs> we, we speculate here on the channel, but you know, I always say my sources come from the other side. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all the people have human sources. I have some legitimate sources, okay? They see everything. Exactly. Right. <laughs> the tarot shade. Yes. I love tarot shade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what we do best. <laughs> right. Okay. Hold on. Let me let me focus on the question. I'm like shuffling and not really focusing. Right. Okay. So is Robin lying about Wendy's husband cheating? Well, is is Robin lying about knowing before any of any of the ladies about the whole blog rumor? Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Two cards. Wait, wait, wait. Well, that was a strategic move. I can tell you that because I got the emperor. Okay, so that was well thought of from her, her part. Ace of Pentacles and the Empress card. Did the news come out? When? Who broke the news? I mean, who broke the rumor? Well, was it? Go ahead. Because I'm going to say, because I have an Ace of Pentacles here, so I kind of feel that someone was paid to come out with that. Oh. oh. <laughs> See, this is why, because we don't talk about this stuff. She doesn't even know that I was going to ask her about any of this stuff. I just put a thumbnail. I said, okay, we'll go live. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it more authentic. Come on. Oh, someone was paid put out this rumor well i do feel that there is there is something behind it so about you know what robin said and her coming out and then i have the empress card here and i have the emperor and the empress and then i have the ace of pentacles in between interesting eight of cups wendy so someone's behind it there's a couple behind this i almost kind of feel that they put Robin in front, but there's a couple behind this rumor or behind this, behind the story, let's just say. Okay. And there is, been, ha, there has been an exchange. Okay. Money. Oh. Yeah. And the eight of cups there. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to feel that the marriage, I'm not going to, I haven't asked about the rumor about the, whether he's cheated or anything no. like that. No, I haven't, but I can tell you, but that they're tur like troubled waters right now. Troubled waters over there. Right now, Wendy and Eddie. Right now. And and it's been, uh, and this was also kind of triggering as well, this whole story that came out, but it started way before. Like this, this, I feel a little bit of ice between them. Mm -hmm. If you know what I mean. So it's almost like they're together, but living separate lives. Okay. That they're not so emotionally connected at the moment. 
and they haven't been in a while. And I'm going to say about it. Last eight months have been a bit off for Wendy and her husband. I forget his name. Eddie. Eddie. Right. So yeah. Oh well, you just answered. She's doing question. much better than him. She's doing much better than him, though. The new <laughs> Wendy, the new Wendy, you know, with the boobs, the butt, <laughs> and everything. <laughs> well, she's, you know, she's feeling herself, and that's good. But that is also for me, while watching the show without knowing the gossip and the story behind it, that's always an indication of a woman probably going through something in her marriage, because. Yes, sir. Who is it that men do that too? Obviously, I'm not just saying hey. women, right? But usually, that's when when you see women sort of like, uh, how am I going to say this? Like re re-engineer themselves in a sense, like their looks and everything, and you see them being so outgoing, like she is now. It's always kind of a sign. You know, you get that when you get divorced, you get that with midlife crisis, you get that when a marriage is a bit and you're trying to find yourself, you know, you're trying to build yourself confidence. Just my two cents. Whoa. Well, that's my professional opinion, I guess. <laughs> that's what Giselle is saying. Giselle is saying, well, is, is this new Wendy, this Zen when because of the rumors? They say that they constantly say that they don't believe the rumors. But before we get into it, whether or not if they believe the rumors or not, Oh, wait, you already have something on your mind. You want to just say it? No. Okay. Keep asking. Okay. <laughs> we'll get to that. So can you confirm whether or not, you're saying that there's there are issues there. Can you confirm whether or not Eddie cheated? Hold on. Whether he did actually cheat? Did, yeah, did Eddie, Eddie, Eddie cheat? And again, guys, everything that we're saying is alleged. And for yeah, for entertainment purposes only. Okay, no jumper cards, but my card's a bit crazy right now with this rumor mail and this okay page of cups. Jumper card, hold on, let's find out. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups. Well, I don't see cheating per se right now, but I do see that, as I said, I feel that they've become quite estranged in their own marriage in their own relationship you know i don't see another woman um, at the moment and it doesn't come up so even if there was it it was sort of like flings i feel nothing like not a relationship like not not a side piece i hate that word but you know what i mean <laughs> i love that word coming out of you though <laughs> um wait so, so you're saying not right now there wasn't cheating what could there have been cheating in the past though that's what i'm saying even if there was there might have been it doesn't come up, which means to me, if there was, it was more of a one night stand, a fling, something, nothing emotional, like completely, you know, um, physical and nothing that would, even if he did it, it wouldn't be, it wasn't because it wasn't that emotional um, connection with that third person or whoever that may be. It, it wasn't what you know, broke the marriage or what's come between them. That's what I'm trying to say. My cards are saying that's very different. He's been working hard on the marriage. It almost seems that it's Wendy who is walking away from this relationship, who is kind of like trying to find herself again. And she's caught up kind of like, you know, distancing herself from Eddie. That's what I see. And then Ace of Cups, she is right now, as I said before, she's feeding herself and she is kind of like, you know, if something new, exciting, if, if I fall in love, comes my way, I'm out. I'm going to go for it. So why, she's kind of opening it up. So this is why we, I love doing this, because when we expect, oh, yeah, he's cheating, blah, blah. No, you come through with, no, this is a completely different situation. Right? I'm telling you, it's not the cheating. I kind of feel that smoke and mirrors. As I said, yeah, it could have been. I mean, you know, a lot of men or women cheat and their partners don't find out because if there is no emotional connection there, if there's no relationship and it just happens, I'm not condoning it, you know, but I'm just saying it happens, but it doesn't mean that it breaks every relationship or every, every marriage. And this is what applies in that case. It's not that it's not the cheating. I feel it's kind of like they put it out there also as a story as building up, you know, maybe hype as well. 
Oh, so they've leaned into this rumor? I feel that they kind of like, I'm not saying they are behind it, but I feel that they're leaning into it. Yes. I mean, you know, it helps. But I do see that she's changed in this marriage. They've been together for a long time, I feel. I'm not sure, but that's what I get. And it's almost like they're going to different towards different directions. And she's kind of leading this. So if she decides to end this, it's up to her. I don't feel that Eddie's going to be the one, the first one who goes up to her and says, you know, Wendy, I'm not happy. We're leading different lives. Maybe we should call it quits. I don't see him doing it. It's her. Whoa. But she's not ready yet. She's more opening up emotionally now to other things. If you get my drift. No, I don't. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Opening up to other things? Meaning that she's more open to finding maybe new love. I'm not saying she's cheating again. I'm just saying that yeah, she's again, trying again. to find herself, including maybe someone else that might bring some excitement or might be sort of a great support system for her or great sidekick. Wow. Wow. Okay. Speaking of failing relationships, <laughs> Robin Dixon. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's get to the new degree. We already have over 300, almost 400 people watching. Be sure to like this video if you haven't liked it already. Uh, Robin Dixon uh, and Eddie and Wendy have disliked the video. It's okay, guys. Uh, all right. It's all right. And we will be dropping the link for you guys to call in in just a second. I just got to get through this Wendy question or questions. Um, so if you have a question about love, relationships, career, we won't be doing health because that requires a deeper reading. Again, if you would like a reading with them, Tara, we posted all of her information, including her socials, in the description of this video. So Robin Dixon, is the relationship between Robin and Juan fake? <laughs> That's a million, million dollar question, isn't it? <laughs> Look. Well, according to Giselle, it is, isn't it? No, according to oh, well, Karen, Karen, right? Said it, Karen said it. Karen, yep. Sorry, the grand dame. Yeah, the grand dame. A the reminder, grand dame. we will be going live tonight for our members only live chat at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, right after the Real Housewives of Comics latest episode. So be sure to check that out tonight. And if you're not a member, you can join right under the, under the video, click the join button, or you can head on over to teamkempire.com for more details. Hmm. Oh, uh -oh. Wait, wait, I'm trying to make sense of this. Oh, there goes with the Ace of Cups again. So Page of Pentacles kids, the kids are very important to them and they are trying to, they work, they do have, their relationship is a real relationship, meaning that not a loving, like, no, wait, hold on. Like a relationship, meaning that they love each other and there's a bond there, but I see sibling love there. Oh, no, 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 no. I see her seeing him more of a younger brother. Sorry, I know. Just telling you what I see. We get it. We get it. We all get it. Can't and I, I'm not saying anything new to anyone, right? I think we all kind of see that. Then I have a hangman. So there is where they're going to still stretch that out. They're going to stretch that story out. Oh God. No marriage, guys. They're not going to get married. But they're going to stretch it as much as they can and as far as it goes. Um, Knight of Pentacles. They're not going to get married because they're financially in ruins. Not Well, not in ruins, but they are not financially secure right now. But they don't want to let that out. This is... What I'm getting is no, no, look, no offense to you, Fem Tara. I don't think it takes a psychic for us to see that. Just telling you what the cars are saying. I know I'm not saying anything new. I know, but I'm just validating what no, we all are feeling. Exactly. No, it, it is no. It is no. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. So oh, that's what I see, and then Ace of Cups. Oh, well, she she's another one. Oh, they're moving again. They just built a house, Fem Tara. They're moving. I'm telling you, money is not, they're not good with money. What can we do? They're not, they're terrible with money, especially she, Robin. And and this, this is true because I do feel that they've lost money. They're losing money again and they will have to move again. There is not going to be a marriage. 
There's not going to be anything like that. They're hanging in there. They're stretching it as much as they can with that hanged man. And I don't see love like cups, like falling in love. I see more of a sibling family bond relationship. And I kind of feel that she's hanging in there. She's kind of grasping at straws, but not really because she knows that she has to let go. So I can't tell you if she's cheating. Nine of cups. So she's getting, I kind of feel that she's going to, hmm, allegedly everyone, okay? Because we don't want to get in trouble. But I kind of feel that there's going to be a rumor in the next year or possibly before the reunion or before the next season starts about her having a boyfriend. Is it a real rumor or is it one they're making up? <laughs> yeah, I think it's a real rumor. I have the Nine of Cups here and the Ace of Cups. Wow. Well, I mean, word on the street, look. <laughs> word on the street is that um, Wands had girlfriends and all kinds of stuff, allegedly, in the DMV. So many people have slipped into my DMs telling me that. <laughs> well, you know, I mean. Wait, does he, on, wait, does he? can you confirm with the cards? <laughs> Or is, is, or is the love affair between Juan and Michael? Oh, God. Do we really have to ask Spirit no. about that? I don't want to I don't want to throw any cards from Michael. He gives me the heebie-jeebies. We, we already got a, enough of, on Michael. Um, no. It, has Juan... No, we know Juan possibly has cheated before. Is he currently... Does he got a love? Does he have a boo? <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel that. I mean, again... I will only feel it if they have a boo or a side piece or someone that is substantial, like there is an emotional connection for them. So it's our relationship. If it's just like, you know, sleeping around and having fun and it's just booty calls, it's not really going to come up. Oh, oh, I'm so glad you said that part. I'm mm -hmm. sorry you said that part. So, all right. So that's why not, it's not coming up because those other alleged relationships aren't that deep so it's not gonna come up all right that's what i was saying with wendy's husband too it applies generally in cards because this you know the cards are not going to give us everything depends oh, no depends what we ask <laughs> oh we have to be real crafty with our questions yep <laughs> yeah all right all right if you guys are just joining us this is our sunday funday monthly tarot reading with of course them tarot don't forget every single week we are doing celebrity readings on her channel so if you're not subscribed be sure to subscribe um thank you to everyone that's been sending in super chats if i missed your super chat i apologize if you're sending anything rude through a super chat if i accidentally read it i'm gonna shake the hell out of you um okay this is a good question but butterfly boo thanks so much for super chat she said is robin's depression a storyline good question i didn't think of that that's a good question is this just a storyline well, let's find out. Yeah, let's find out. Oh, ooh, ooh. Okay. They don't want me to shuffle anymore. Mm. <laughs> oh, the money. Again, the same cards, guys. I just pulled the same cards. And I you saw me. I was, like, shuffling. The money, yeah. But the depression comes... I don't see depression. I just feel more worry or more like giving up. Like, oh, you know, I'm never going to get this right. We're never going to do this right. Could be her flipping business. I'm not sure where that's coming from, but they're definitely losing money again. They're not handling money well. Hangman, she's waiting for things to happen, but they're moving. So it's, yeah, I don't, eight of cups. She's financially, dis uh, financially, emotionally, sorry, disappointed. I'm going to see. I don't see any fulfillment from, from Juan. You know, I feel that, you know, she's given so much, she's not getting back. And she might be moving out. Are they li living together? Because I feel that she's going to move out. Yes. They, they, they've always hmm. lived together. <laughs> no, it's not happening anymore. Ooh. Ooh, okay. One last question on Robin. Robin on the show, the Real Housewives of the Comic, says that Macy's TJ Maxx have been reaching out for her embe embezzled hats. Can you tell me if that is even true? How, how is embezzle really doing? I mean, embellish, sorry. I keep calling it embezzlement hats. I can't. <laughs> All right, so how is, <laughs> how is your business doing? That yeah, was the question, right? Doing. Okay. Yes. And did, look, and did Macy's really reach out? <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
I mean, she's got ideas. She's working on it. She's trying. Robin's trying. Mm. Hold on. She's got some ideas, like to sort of like innovate a little bit. The the hat business. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I see disappointment here. Mm, I don't know if this is gonna, you know, it's gonna be sort of like um a profitable business for long. I'm not sure if it is now. Maybe it is, because I feel that she is quite creative. She's coming up with ideas, but they're not gonna turn out like they're not gonna be good ideas, if you know what I mean. Ace of Pentacles here, but I do see maybe a new business venture, a new business proposal. Someone's gonna come to her with a new business proposal. I mean, she's on a, she's on a big platform. Guys, I'm sorry, Robin, if you're watching this or if anyone who knows her, I'm sorry, but you're not a very good businesswoman, apparently. You're like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just rooting for her, but like I do for most of the housewives, but I don't see, and she's kind of like, her money's tied down in this business. I don't know. I think she's invested her money. She didn't, I don't know if she has a business partner, but I don't feel that she has a business partner in this. So someone is going to come in and partner, want to partner up with her regarding, or maybe invest in this business and maybe sort of take it to another level. But don't do it, Robin. Don't do it. Because this person doesn't have your best interest in mind. Okay. Don't do it because then you'll be tied down and you, it's not going to be good for you business wise. Is it Mises? Yes. Look, is it Mises? <laughs> no. No. Mm -mm. Someone smaller. I just see like an individual. Oh. Not Mises. No. All right. We're going to move on because I want to give some time for people to call in. Guys, when you call in, please know your question. Keep it to one question. It has to be about, well, nothing regarding health because that's a deep book reading. It could be about love, relationships, career. And again, if you if you if if we do not get to your call, uh, Femme Tarot does live readings on her channel, but also book a reading. It's worth it, especially as something that you're going through. It's complicated and you need more time. Book a reading at femtarot.com. More information is available in the description of this video. Femtarot, as always, we thank you for coming through and doing this because, look, I know it can be healing. You know I believe in all of this. Mm. And I, if the Queen situation didn't happen here on the channel, I don't think I would be just so as gun-ho about doing lightning reads all the time. I just feel like you're really helping people, and I think that's so important. And if, if we could do that, I'm, I'm grateful that we can do that. Yeah, I'm glad. That's why I started YouTube in the first place, because that was that was the idea to reach out to as many people during the pandemic, to as many people as possible to help them out. And I'm really, truly happy and so grateful to people who are actually giving me the chance to help them. And I'm truly happy. I really am that I can, when I see and I get feedback and I get a lot of emails every day from people who've had readings with me, either private ones or on your show or on Adam's or on mine, doesn't matter that have told me that, you know, the, their mindset changed, their life changed. Even certain predictions that I made came, came out true, but that's everyone. Let me just remind you, it's not about the prediction. Okay. It's not about whether it's going to come true or not, whether, you know, that's, that's not the focal point. The focal point is you, what are you going through and how you can overcome it? It doesn't matter what's going to happen six months, one year from now, if you don't heal yourself and you don't work on yourself, I just want to put that out there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So guys, we're going to take some callers. And if you haven't liked the video you're already at almost 450 people watching, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. You're getting daily and consistent content in a variety of areas, of course, covering everything pop culture. If you're just joining us, you missed out on some Juan Dixon stories. I'm so glad Juan Dixon wasn't here right now. Um, Robin Dixon, and did Eddie Estefo cheat? Well, you would be surprised at what Femtaro just revealed. Oh, anyways. All right, let's take a couple of callers. Uh, Femtaro, I'm going to drop myself out just because... Okay. That way you can have one-on-one -on -one session here, here on the All right. <laughs> All right. Mel, I'm going to bring you up for a quick comment or a question, I should say. Here we go. Hi. Hi, Mel. Hi, how you doing? Happy, um, happy Sunday. 
Happy Sunday to you too. How are you doing? Are you from down under? No, no, no. I'm from I'm from New York City. Oh God! For a second, you sounded Australian. Oh my gosh, maybe <laughs> maybe I've watched the show too much, and I was like, oh, I took on I took on the <laughs> accent a little bit. <laughs> maybe who knows? I pick up accents too. Not Dorit's, everyone. Uh -oh. but, <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your question today, Mal? Okay, why well, I, I love the show. I'm loving. Uh, you know what? As he as Kim Pai was saying, the readings. I'm going to be looking into blogs in the future based on these readings because I think that you may be onto something. You come from a different perspective. I'm like, wow. So it's very informative about the housewives. Um, so for me personally, I had a quick question. Um, I'm noticing patterns. I'm noticing patterns in my friendships and uh, creative partnerships, or even potential dating situations. And the pattern is that um, uh, there seem to be out of nowhere, they sort of disconnect. Well, I, I had a friend who we were friends for a little bit and next thing you know, they had a, a, a moment in their brain where they had to sort of be isolated. And I've seen this happen all around me where people are having these life issues and disconnection is happening. I've seen this since I'm a little boy, but just in my life. And I was wondering, am I meant to be um, not isolated, but maybe be solitary in my life and not connect in partnership and deep friendships with people and just sort of be meandering on outside helping and volunteering or will there be a point where I can have union that will be, um, you know, that will stay more. Let me ask you a question. When you mean you're not connecting, meaning that they distance themselves. So after a point during while you're building this relationship, friendship, whatever it is that, that they suddenly kind of distance themselves. That's what you mean. Or that you never feel that connection with them in the first place. You're like work on it, but it never sort of like, yeah. So thank you for that. So yeah, I love that I'm talking to you about this. So um, I'm not too like in, in the space, but I believe in energy. And I felt at a certain point, I'm like, wow, maybe the pattern is that there's something I need to learn because I literally, have union with some people. I've helped people in these situations in life and other things and just fellowship and they disappear because of health or whatever it may be. And I go, okay, dear God, dear universe, something is telling me maybe I'm hitting a wall on maybe this is just the limit of what I can do with people. Maybe I, I, I don't know. It's just, it, it, it's just been that way for over 30 years. I will tell you just been that way. And I just, okay. yeah. Let, let me ask you this, because I feel I feel sort of like two energies around you. I kind of feel that you're very open or initially you're open to meeting new people or you're open to new people who come into your life. When I mean open, I mean you allow, you're quite private, I feel. So like when I mean private, I mean you don't share your deepest darkest thoughts with people that easily it's right. almost like the relationships that you have you want to keep them up to to a level not necessarily superficial but to a level so you kind of have like a control of what's going like of that relationship i feel because that's how you feel more safe or more secure within that relationship but at the same time i feel that you're also quite we un unknowingly you might be also sort of putting like an energetic wall where mm -hmm. people feel that they can't get through to you deeper than a point if that makes sen sense that they can't reach out to reach to you on a on a different level and that's because you don't realize that you do it but you do it do you what when's your birthday because i kind of like i was seeing scorpion sagittarius so i see an s okay i'm i'm born in december in late december oh late december so capricorn yes. so you're a capricorn so you must have the sagittarius scorpio and your moon because i kind of feel that as well because moon is your, our emotions mm -hmm. and how we express ourselves e, um the sun sign is our egos you know it's how we like people to perceive us an ascendant is sort of like our blueprint, you know, how we are in our everyday life. Uh -huh. So, but let me just pull some cards just to see what is going on, Mel, because I don't want to take up to, we could talk for hours. I could help you out, but we've got callers. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Okay. I'm sure. No, but that's all right. Let me just pull a few cards for you. Okay. Okay. Okay, one card wanted to pop out, but it didn't, and it has to do with family. What's your relationship with your family? 
Well, that's interesting. My mother passed away uh, three years ago, and my father and I have a very lukewarm relationship. My brother is, and I don't speak at the time, so it's a very small family, and this is sort of what's happening. What I'm getting is that I feel that you might feel in your own sort of head, your own mind, that you're working hard for certain people, that you do enough or you reach out or you do a lot. And sometimes that, do you feel drained? Do you feel easily drained of energy from people? But yes. easily, yes. yeah. And I feel that sometimes you feel that you're going overboard and that you're doing stuff and then you feel tired, but to everyone else, they feel that you're not doing enough. They're feeling that you're not putting enough energy, if you know what I mean. So this is where the disconnect comes. And also, I feel that, as I said, you do have that personality where people want to approach you, want to get to know you. But on the other hand, they feel that you're not going to be, um, you're not going to confide in them or you're not going to open up to them in that level. And they feel a little bit intimidated by that. Mm -hmm. So, well, I agree with you. I think that... Um so because i love talking to you about this and that again uh, we i have to probably talk to you offline but my my i think i agree i agree with you totally so my fear my idea was that okay well i'm 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 destined i may use the word i'm destined to be a helper or be somebody who's communicating lives and not really be there for long term which i want to be but i'm sort of in this sort of transition where i'm i'm there to help and i've helped so many people and next thing you know they go uh mel I've had a realization, I simply have to move here. I have to go, I mean, it's things that has nothing to do with me. I go, okay, wow. Well, this came out of the blue. And and so life has shifted and, and this is what happened. So that's sort of the pattern. It's really like it comes out of the blue, something from their life, help or whatever, and they're gone. And then I have to start over with something else. I'm really quickly, I'm gonna say, because I know why Campire showed up, because it's like tick tock, tick tock. But, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> But I'm going to say you would be a great mediator because you can leave emotions out of it and you're able between two people, you can be in the middle and just bring them together. But you just don't have that capability to do that for yourself hmm. with other people because you block yourself. So this is about working on your insecurities. And I asked about your family because that card wanted to show uh, like to pop up, but it didn't. And that means indicates to me that it comes from possibly how you were treated or talked to when you were a child. Okay. Okay. Consciously, that needs work. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to take it all in. I'm listening, I'm processing, but you know, again, I'm just, well, I'm liking what I'm hearing that it's not like some curse <laughs> that I'm destined to, you know. No, destined, yeah. no. And don't listen. I mean, I know, I know they like a lot of readers and psychics out there, they, they love to use the curse word. No, it doesn't work like that. And it doesn't apply just because you've had a lot of bad luck in your life doesn't mean that you, you're cursed. It just means that that's your path, that's your journey, and you have to work on certain things. And that's why you need a spiritual coach to help you. Okay. Good reading, Mel. All righty. Have a good Sunday. You too. Bye. All right. We do have a long line, so I'm going to bring up the next caller, Clarissa. Again, let's try and keep this. This is the way we can get more people in, guys. So keep Get right to your question. We can we can say the hey, how are you, and just move forward. We can are someone, someone's saying you're hungry. Are you? <laughs> not, no, <laughs> not, it's not about me. I just want to be able to get to a lot more callers. But don't forget, guys, subscribe to Fem Tarot's YouTube channel. She also does lives and takes callers there as well. So if you miss your opportunity today, you will get another opportunity on her channel or next month when we go live again or just book a reading. More information available in the description. I'm wasting time. Clarissa, I'm going to bring you up okay. and then I'm going to take myself down. <laughs> oh my God, I'm stressing. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Clarissa. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. Oh, we shouldn't be saying hello. How are you? Sorry, Cam. <laughs> <Right. laughs> What's the question? <laughs> okay. Um, my question is, um, is the guy I've been friends with over 12 years and we're finally connecting and he's going to come and visit me next month and we're going Ooh. a nice weekend to have a you know to get to know each other better and i want to know is there should I, could I see a future with him or not uh -huh. who's john i don't know a john okay not even on the other side because i heard a john Ooh. well forget about john now because we don't have time for john yeah. um yeah. <laughs> 
So the wheel, things are changing. Two of cups. Okay. Loving it. <sighs> You're meant to be together. This has been a long time coming. It almost feels like it's always like it's always like there are points in your life up until now that you were about to get together or about to get to this point and then something happened and then you didn't now yeah. it's all happening so have fun thank you <laughs> relax and enjoy it thank you so much i appreciate it thank you You're welcome. Here's, i love hearing that that's amazing thank, thank you <laughs> see how fast i was this time Hold i on. love it you know, and was right to the point she wants to know if love is coming to her and it is and it's with this person that's fantastic anyways i'm gonna stop the all right i'm gonna bring up rasani What's going on, Rasani? I'm taking my. Hi, Rasani. Hi, Empire. Hi, Simtero. How are you? I'm good. How about you? And what's your question? Because otherwise, Empire's gonna be angry. At me. I know, and he probably <laughs> hasn't eaten either. <laughs> cool. Okay, so my quick question is that I'm in um an entanglement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's all right. It's all good. Currently, right now, and you know, it's as as needed, so to say. Entanglement. Entanglement. Right. Entanglement. Yeah, Entanglement. <laughs> no, but it's it's grown adults. It's no no other parties are involved, to my knowledge. My all question right. to you is: Is it going to progress more than an entanglement? Ooh. All right. Okay, hold on. Mm, come on, give me a card. No, that was those were too many. Let's see. What I see, what I feel, Queen of Cups. You're having fun though. You're enjoying this. I'm gonna say. I am. You're really enjoying this, but at the same time, this is I feel the timing, maybe that's why you're asking the question. Has this entanglement started at a time when you were very low and just moving or thinking about exiting, leaving a relationship? Um, or a situation? Rosani? Yeah, I can, I'm here. I'm here. I'm sorry. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yeah. Um, no, it, 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 it's an ex that has come back. So to oh, say. okay. So yeah. There's the, oh, all right. I, I see that you're having a lot of fun. Like, I feel that this is, ooh, and do you see this person as someone that you would like to have a family with or you would see a partnership with? I can, I can, yes. I think this person does as well. Eight of Pentacles. Do you work together? Have you worked together? Are you thinking about it? No, we haven't worked together, no. Okay, but you're going to work on something together. And I think that you're both on the same page when it comes to this relationship. So I do see future. Yes, if you play your cards right, don't be in a hurry. Allow for things to happen. Okay, just allow for that to work out. All good for Zani? Um, yeah, all good. StreamYard's kind of acting up, so there's a delay. So I'm going to have to listen back to it on the replay. I'll catch you later, Kim Pyre. Make sure you eat before we do our recap. Bye. <laughs> Bye. They know how I get, Fem Tara. They know how I get, guys. We have. Wait, let's get to let's get to two hundred and fifty likes. Shout out to our mods, um, as always, for supporting the channel, and shout out to Fem Tara for being here and being here. Yeah, we're gonna bring up some more callers, but I also want to remind you guys we we are still raising money for Haiti. More details are available. Just click the link. Support. We're trying to get to five thousand before the end of the month. I would ask you if we're going to get there from Tara, but I know we will. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring up Bernice for a quick uh, question. What's going on, Bernice? I'm getting. Hey, Kimpire. Hey. Hey. Hi, hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. I got a question. Go on. A, a friend of mine is trying to give me my old job back, but I ain't, I ain't got the heart to tell her I don't want it back because. Um, my employer showed how they felt about me by getting rid of me in the first place. And you don't value me, so why would I want to go back? Okay. And you're friends with this person? Yes. She, um, she, she, she's, she's a friend, and she was one of my students because I was a tutor. And I helped her, you know, get her degree and everything like that. And she said, well, 
the school is not the same without you. You help so many people. I want to get you back. And I'm looking like, okay. And I go through the motions with her. Like, I appreciate it. Like, okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But deep down, uh uh. So, do you want to know what the motive is or what the intentions are behind that or whether it's, it's a good move to, to go ahead with that job? All the three, you know. The intention. Okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, hold on. Let's see what we see. Mm, you're not so sure. No, you're not into it. You don't want to. Temperance, follow your intuition, Bernice. I okay. do. I do see that you're not into it at all. You're very disappointed. You are though. Between you are between two minds for it, possibly because you need a job right now, or you know. Yeah. Um, I do see that, but your angels and you have support system around here, a spiritual support system, and your intuition is right. No. Okay. 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 And, and to, to that guy, Mel, he got to learn how to do to this to, um, to learn between seasonal and um, life expectations. You're there to teach some people something to let them go. All right, Bernice with the wind. Okay. Right, guys. Thank you, Bernice. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. All right. I love Bernice. Yeah, she's going to love so much every time she calls in. All right, we're going to take a couple more callers. I don't want to, you know, burden Fem Tarot right now because I don't think you guys realize it takes a lot of work to do these readings. So there's a lot of protection things that you have to do beforehand and then even afterwards, right? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I think you have to bring your mic a bit closer to your own. Oh. Sorry, uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to bring up Pam. Hey. Hey, hey Pam. Pam. How are you? I'm so surprised I got on. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, my question is real easy. Oh, well, maybe not. But okay. I just want to know, am I going to find love? If Period. you're going to find love, oh, you sound disappointed. <laughs> it's been disappointing. <laughs> oh. Okay, even my, my dog's agreeing, I guess, because he's barking in the background. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to ask them what can they tell me about your love life, what's going on. Okay, dog, Louie. Louis is telling you absolutely nothing is going on. No, he he likes, you know, he's like, yap, 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 but no, <laughs> nothing to it. He'll just eat all day. Just like campfire. Love you. <laughs> um, right. So I do see he's back. <laughs> right. So I do see um, that it almost feels like there's still, have you in past relationships, do you feel when you came out of them that you had a lot to learn about yourself? Yes. yes. Especially yes. the way that those relationships ended. Cause that's yes. what I'm getting. And I'm getting that you had a lot of disappointment almost to the point where you thought you found, you know, the one or you thought you found the person that you're going to be with and you can sort of, you know, breathe and, and, and enjoy life with. And then suddenly something happens and then it all. But it's usually what that I feel and I'm getting is usually what they tell you that it's almost like they it's sort of I feel like you kind of get the blame but at the same time, it's almost that they're trying, I'm trying to express this as best as I can, but it's almost like these past relationships have um, told you things about you or about maybe the way you react or maybe uh, certain things about you that you weren't aware of. And that was eye-opening. But that kind of brought to you, I feel like you've been, you've never had the chance that you've been broken from all these um, past relationships, but you've never had the chance to kind of like mend yourself. And, mm. but I do see here the sun, which means that there is light at the end of the tunnel. There is, and I do see a younger person. Oh my, a younger yeah. person, really? Slightly younger, yeah. Well, I mean, when I mean younger, I don't mean 25 years younger, but younger, 
So uh -huh. someone with a much younger or someone who is maybe a little bit older or your age, but has a very youthful energy about them. Uh -huh. Someone. So I see that about for you. Um, let me just okay. pull one more card. The I've Queen got a Cups. birthday coming up, so I hope so. <laughs> yes, well, that sounds a major arcana. And then with the Queen of Cups, wait for it. It's it's coming. It's okay. coming. And it's very different to what you normally go for. Oh, really? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh Well, that's fun. But that's it. <laughs> Congrats. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so it's not where you're looking. That's what I'm trying to say. This person is not where you would normally look for love or you would expect to find love. Expect the unexpected. Okay. And have fun. Okay. All, All right. right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just going to take a couple of other callers, if you feel up to it, uh, Femja. I hate to put, put you on the spot, okay? <laughs> I just have to check in. I have to check in, make sure you're doing it. I know, I know. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. Ma um, hold on. Maha? I always, I think I always mispronounce Maha. Maja, how do I pronounce your name? Maja, Maja, you're muted, you're muted. I would say Maja, too, but... Okay, I, well, she's muted. So I, I, I see we have a birthday girl here, Sina. I'm gonna, Sina Chanya, I'm gonna bring you up. Hey. Hi, thank you for taking me in. Of course. Uh oh. I love you guys both very much. Happy birthday. Is it your birthday indeed? Yeah, I'm 105 today. That's what I feel like. Oh, God, like. stop it. But happy birthday. <laughs> happy so birthday. Much. Same day as the King of Pop then, Michael Jackson. Yes, I was. That's exactly right. Except for, I don't know the time of my birth. It doesn't appear on my birth certificate, which is annoying because I can't get a good reading with an uh, astrological reading without it. Well, back back 105 years ago, they <laughs> wouldn't write <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That's but a good astrologer, just so you know, and just for everyone to know, that's a good point. A good astrologer, experienced astrologer, they're able to uh, draw out your map even without your time of birth, just so you know. All they need, good astrologers, are like big life events when they happened, i.e. Um, weddings, divorces, deaths, things like that, and then they're able to find out oh, your... Oh, um, great. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're um, welcome. What I, what I wanted to really ask here is that, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> I'm in California and all the fires and the smoke is bad. But oh. um, yeah, uh, I've been on a very deep spiritual quest. And my, my hope is that I can be able to be of service. And I'm wondering if you can see that happening. And if so, when? <laughs> So you feel a spiritual pull, right? Yes. To, yes. to heal, to give, to I want, help yes. the collective. I, I would love to be a, me, a media. <sighs> Do you, have you felt any, okay, first of all, you're Virgo. Virgos are highly, well, it all depends on your chart and everything, but usually Virgos like Pisces and Scorpios are highly intuitive people, okay? And they're usually light workers and they work uh, with the light. Um, yes. so the question, so you said you want to become a medium. Have you yes. had experiences in the past? What kind of experiences have you had? Well, I've started to, um, I used to be a very avid student for many years, but then my mother fell ill. So I had to move across country to care for her and she passed a couple months ago. So my, my, um, studies were kind of on, on hold, but after she's, now that she's gone, I've dug in really deeply and in meditation uh, about a week ago or so i was feeling uh, my pressure and pain in my forehead like what my third eye would be and i asked i said what is that because it happened a couple times and i got that it was my third eye opening so yeah. um mm -hmm. and, and since then i've been asking spirit for signs and, and synchronicities and you know, things to show me that I am hearing what they're saying or I'm trying to connect with what their messages are. Um, and I'm such a novice that I'm not sure whether I'm seeing what I want to see or I'm seeing it because it's really there. Well, that's the trick. I mean, that's the thing. At the beginning, it's always confusing because you always it's always like your rational mind 
that, you know, your, the left side of your brain that like pops in, pops the front, and then you're trying to make sense of it. And then you confuse yourself. So was that intuition? Was that a thought? Was that right. rational thinking? What is going on? It takes a long time to get to mediumship. Everyone is psychic. I keep saying this. We're all psychic. I'm not anyone special because I'm psychic. It's just that I've embraced my gift and I've through the years and through my experience have been able to open up completely to it and have a direct line with my spirit team, right? And yeah. everyone can do that. There are lots of ways to do that. I talk a, a little bit, not a little bit, I talk a lot about these things on my channel too. So you can find some videos there if you're interested to help you with psychic development, whoever is interested. I can also, I think, do like a, um, a video where we can do some exercises live and help you guys understand how intuition works. Now back to mediumship. Mediumship is a little bit more special because mediumship, it, not everyone is a medium. Not everyone has an open channel to the other side, to, you know, to the afterlife where spirits want to come through and just like communicate with you. That again, I'm not saying it's not impossible, but it's harder. Get some books, get some books about mediumship, mediumship development. First of all, work, work on your psychic gift, work on your intuition. That's the first and foremost, because that's a bit easier. It's a bit easier to open up than mediumship. And then with books, there are courses out there. I'm going to start some courses next year. I'm going to do them here in Greece and resorts where people can come and we can do psychic and mediumship development Wonderful. and teach people how to do that. But I'm not, we're not talking about that because it's not even, you know, it's just a plan that's not even there yet. But what I'm saying is that other psychic mediums and renowned mediums do things like that to help people. So that's the first step. And then practice, 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 practice with your friends, practice with your family. And you will build up your confidence with that. So you don't see it in the cards at all? No, well, the cards are not gonna answer me if you're medium or not. Oh, okay. You will answer that, that question. Well, but I feel again, like starting. I feel like I'm starting to get messages through and I just need to determine. Well, I did contact a friend that I hadn't talked to in person and to check in on her because I was feeling her and I was feeling a message for her. I did relay that and she and she got back to me in tears. She said, you don't know how much I needed to hear that today. That's so a that great a first step. That's a yeah. great first step. So keep going and start reading a lot more and feel yeah. more confident. Feel more confident in your intuition and don't don't second doubt your, you know, what's coming through. And you'll okay. you'll you, you'll get there. Just awesome. need work. That's well. I'm like I said. I'm 105. I'm running out of time. I'm just hurrying up. <laughs> But it's all good. This old girl still got some kick in her yet. You're good. On the other side, there is no time. So, I mean, time well, is relevant. So, so we're if all I good. die now, I can continue studying, right? <laughs> we all have to study on the other side. So, there you go. We That's never right. stop learning. That's right. We never stop learning. Dina, thank you so much for calling in. Happy thank birthday. You. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Have a good one, you guys. Bye. Bye, Tina. All right. All right. One more caller? One more. one more, come on, because that was a long one. Sorry, two. I was just no, no, no. It's okay. But you know what? Look, we, we're trying to do, we're trying to do some positive things on this Sunday. We're starting off the week with some positivity and light, guys. Don't forget, we will be doing our Real Housewives of Potomac recap later on today at 9:30 p.m. Eastern. It's a members-only chat. If you would like to become a member of the channel, head on over to TeamCampari.com or click the join button under this video. Fem Tarot is here. If you would like to get a full reading. Book it at femtarot.com or click the link in the description of this video. It's very enlightening. One more caller. I apologize to everyone that was waiting. We have a long line. Even people couldn't get into the backstage. As I said before, Fem Tarot does these readings also on her channel, on Up and Adam's channel, and of course, once a month here on the Kempire Daily YouTube channel. All right. Uh, let's see. Maja, we're going to try one more time. If we don't, we're going to have to go to someone else. Maja? Maja? Yeah, hi. Yay! Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. I was in the kitchen, so yes, so sorry. Is uh, it, oh, don't don't talk about kitchens to to Kemba. He's hungry. Um, is it Maya? Yeah, uh, no, it's uh, pronounced Maya. Maya. Okay, sorry, we've been uh, mispronouncing. Right, what's no, your question, Maya? Um, 
Um, I um, I want to know um, if you can see anything um, because I have some family problems. Um, that that if you can see that there's maybe anything in the future that can um, regarding your family and the whole. Uh, no, uh, no uh, me and my me and my sibling. You and your sibling, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I see that. Um, because <clears throat> I had three jumper pods, but hold on. Let me just get to that. Oh, damn. You're over it, Maya, right? I feel you're like uh, sick and tired. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the last, last drop, right? Uh, Right. That's what I feel. You're like done. I'm sick and tired. I'm not. See, the dog agrees. Um, <laughs> then I have the Ace of Swords. There's a lot going on in your head, though. You're trying to figure that out, and I feel that you're very analytical, mm -hmm. and, and you're over analytical. And sometimes you confuse yourself. Also, is your sibling a bo like a, a brother? Yeah, like he a man? Is my, yeah, yeah, he's my bigger brother. Yeah, yeah, because that's what I was picking up. But I also feel that your brother is. Um, quite an emotional person and very impulsive as well. That's what I feel. And this is what causes a lot of this friction. I feel that um, the magician manifesting, mm, I do feel that this is this is a very complicated relationship, Maya. Um, yes. it's, you're, you're, it's almost like he pushes your buttons in, mm. on an emotional level. Yeah, and, yeah. You're, and because you're very analytical, very structured, you 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 know you don't you don't react the same way that he does mm -hmm. and then it's just like cat and dog and then it's just fighting <laughs> and conflict and all that so i i feel that it's up to you this relationship how it's gonna go because i feel you're the one who's done uh yeah uh, and i'm and i'm giving you right because right now i'm uh, I'm thinking about going in the legal way, uh, but I don't want yeah. to do it if it can, uh, if it will ruin our relationship. So I don't know. Um, you're yeah. waiting to see what he's gonna do. It's yeah. almost like you're like you know the ball's on your court. I want to see what you're gonna do. Exactly. And and um, I think that he's gonna keep on like pushing those buttons. So it's up to you to draw that line and say enough is enough. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you just have to make that decision. You know. I know yeah. it's hard. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're much. welcome, Maya. All the best. Yeah. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Maya. Thank you to everyone that called in. We apologize. Well, I'm looking up here. I have, I have screens. Oh, why are you I don't know where the spirit. <laughs> Guys, if you're just joining us, of course, we're doing our monthly Fem Tarot reading some of your favorite celebrities. If you would like to see us collab every single week, be sure to subscribe to her channel, Fem Tarot, here on YouTube. We're also live on multiple platforms. So if you haven't followed us, follow us on, on TikTok, follow us on Twitch, Twitter, and of course on Facebook. And all of Fem Tarot's links are available in the description of this video, including the most recent Whitney Houston channeling that she did. And also, happy birthday to Michael Jackson. You can also check out that reading as well there. Fem Tarot, any last minute thoughts? It is officially Virgo season. It's Virgo season. Uranus is in Taurus, which means it affects fixed signs. Yeah, we have an inside joke about that. So, yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so all fixed signs, which applies to Taurus, Scorpios, Aquarians, and um, Libras. So be not beware, but be aware that this is going to be a very energetically full period for the next six months. Okay, that a lot of innovations, a lot of changes are happening. And they will be they will be revealed exclusively here on the YouTube channel. So subscribe. <laughs> yeah so and they're all good changes because they're all like really out there and you're gonna start thinking outside the box and not easy for Tauruses sorry love ya <laughs> <laughs> I mean we always shade Gemini's might as well shade Tauruses once in a while I mean, <laughs> not Aquarians though just joking Aquarians too I mean we're the aliens of the zodiac so there you go I, I just realized how many um, Aquarius. I was thinking about Aquarius, and like I've interviewed Brandy, and she's an Aquarius. Oprah oh, she, yeah. Aquarius. I mean, there's some really dynamic people that are Aquarius. You guys are like really dynamic spirits, just saying. 
No, Aquarians are, and they're also, they can be misunderstood because we do come across a little bit distant and unemo like emotionally detached from people, but it's the contrary. We just don't like to show, you know, our true feelings because there's just so much going on in our heads. That's why we're like, that's why I keep saying Kathy Hilton, she's not an Aquarius. She might as well be. I mean, she is my spirit animal, my soul sister, Kathy Hilton, because she's such a typical Aquarian. What is Kathy? Do we know? She's a Pisces. Oh, really? I, I think we, I checked it out long, you know, on one of your lives. I was just like Googling everyone's, everyone's star signs. And I was like, oh, she's a Pisces. That's interesting. I never would. I mean, I guess we would have to see the rest of her chart. But mm, that's interesting. Maybe next month we'll do a deeper dive into Beverly Hills. But if you missed it on Ben Tarot's YouTube channel, we did a deeper dive on the Royal Housewives of Beverly Hills. Be sure to check that out. I think that's like your number one video right now, right? Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Guess who it, uh, who it is? Kenny Amore. Yes. Wow, I thought I thought it was the Beverly, yes, Kenya. Twirl. Can... <laughs> <laughs> Tarot, as always, it's always a fun time doing this with you guys. For our replay crew, let us know your thoughts and let us know some people that you would like for us to read and questions in the comments don't forget to like this video thank you to everyone that sent in the super chat thank you to everyone that called in sorry we we're not able to get to every single person but as i said before on fem tarot's channel and up in adam's channel she is there weekly doing lightning readings for you guys but if you really want to deep dive into some serious question that you have book a reading it's worth it but you're kind of booked up until the new year right i am but it's meant for you it's meant for you patience I've got a waiting list though. So if I have cancellations or I have any openings on my schedules, you're gonna, and you're on the waiting list, I will let you know as soon as possible. So, I mean, it's, if you really want a reading um, right now, I mean, the next three months, then, you know, give it a shot. Just send me an email. Yeah. Uh, and I just want to say this, that's a short period of time in comparison to what it's going to be for Femtera. I'm making that prediction. So book her now. <laughs> but Daryl, thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you, guys you so much for tuning in. If you, if you haven't liked the video yet, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. You're getting daily and consistent content here on Empire Daily YouTube channel. And don't forget, subscribe to our other channel, Empire Radio. We will be reinventing that channel. So be sure to subscribe there and follow all of our social media. Everything is at the Empire, at Empire Daily, and of course, at them tarot on instagram on twitter tiktok all of that thank you guys so much for tuning in have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys later 9 30 p.m eastern rhop recap members only chat bye everyone oh, wait let me start see if i can segue out i need my little i can't click the button hold on y'all hold on y'all ah!